going on now? Carl. I miss you, Carl. You can't know how much I miss you. I'd give anything for us to be able to roll back the clock. I had a home. I had a loving father. We were happy. I was happy. And I didn't even know it. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Help me, Carl. Please help me. Carl? Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Shitty son. Never would have happened if it wasn't for you, bud. the detonator what do you do maybe you should have left it with North so we wouldn't have to decide but what do you do I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. Papa Bear's gone. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Yes, they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Connor knows. Be careful.
What are you doing? If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Shit, dog. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. North, not the beanie. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. This is really touching on like a historical hours, events. Be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. So touch you. What do you do? Do you do? You gotta make a decision. I know, buddy, I know. You dealt the raw hand. This isn't what you were looking for. This isn't what you planned. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Am I, though? Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Is the choice though? How do I inform them? Do I come up here? Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, can't. peaceful just doesn't work they'll anymore. They'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? You can't. You can't be peaceful anymore. You tried. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly gotta, is suspended. 
all electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. That's true, Eli. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Fire. Madam President! What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. Shit, is this Connor? This is the one in a million chance. We need an army. That's cool. Connor model 313 248 317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. That's cool. gonna happen Connor you're really our only hope freaking Luke Skywalker you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Yo, thank you for the follow, future Purnamad. How you doing? Welcome to the dog pound. Sorry, I'm not talking uh, all that much. This is uh, captivating, to say the least. Agent 23 identified. This is a pivotal moment. I have no idea what's going to happen. idea what's going on man Can kind of free them though agent 54 Marcus has the power 31. was he able to access change that over 
to, to was he able to give that to Connor? Yeah, Connor's with the revolution. Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. We're going down, down, in an early round. And sugar, we're going down swinging. I'll be your number the last boss one in 20 with minutes. The that doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. A loaded god complex, cock it and pull it. Are you alright? I'm, I'm really cold. Something's wrong with Alice. Where are these people? That's Alice. Where's little Alice? These are robots. They're androids. Alice and Kara. But we only recently found out that Alice, the little girl, is a robot. You gotta take the gun. You never know what's gonna happen. You can't trust people anymore. It can't be peaceful. You need to make your way through this world one way or another. Come on. Let's not stay here. Can't leave Papa Bear behind. Kill him. You can't leave him behind. You can't. You can't do it. You gotta save Luther. You can't leave Papa Bear behind. He's part of your family. Hey, buddy. I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids.
Is there anything else? Out of bullets, you can't leave Possum Lizard, Bear behind. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther. I thought you were dead. You can't leave Papa Bear behind. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they called me along the way. Come on, we're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Detour. Eleven minutes. We don't have time. That's eleven minutes, and we only got ten. We don't have enough time. Our choice has been made for us. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm. All right, Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Maybe. Be ready. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Gotta. Oh, <laughs> holy crap. Today, November 11, no, it was a glove. is the day the android it was her glove. rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. 
we won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Got a flag. I don't know what's going down, but this is crazy. Mess with Marcus. Marcus is gonna fuck you up. This is our time. Which one? North? She's still alive. She's back at the home base. Stay sharp. Oh my god, Connor! Ooh, fucking badass! Oh, we do have the power! How do I convert them? Jesus. Let's do it. Piece of shit. Oh! Step back, Connor! And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. He's fucking got Hank. terminal we've arrived Alice we made it the last bus for the border is full ticket holding passengers only all departures are suspended until further notice oh we don't shit. have tickets they won't let us on we're stuck here now what are we going to do She yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Security check. Please don't move. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and...
Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I, I found this on the floor. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You you saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Can't let the baby die in the cold. Please don't move. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler. Who can get them across the river? It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? You got to. Luther agrees. Yes, we're coming. Okay, we really don't have another option. The situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Shit, dog. We tried to be peaceful. This is your fault. You've left us with no other option. Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Attack! and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're going to do this. We're going to get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you.
They did. Won't save me this time, Marcus. Damn it. The blood we spill will be on our hands. It will be. Till it's over, okay? All right. Shit, he's dead. Basically a movie, yes. We're nearly there, Marcus. Jesus Christ. We don't got a choice, attack. Life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. <laughs> oh. Him? Shit. Or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want. I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. Sometimes. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. 
You win. I never knew quick time events could be so crazy. Hold it. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, I Hank. I know. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of you. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that- Shit, name. trivia! I... My son, what's his name? Oh, fuck. Cole. Oh. His name was Cole. Oh, shit. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Shit. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son, too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Hank. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. Yeah, I love Hank. Math choices early on in the game making a difference right there, that's what that is. Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I have no idea. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> now we're back to a uh, Kara. Luther and Alice. About time. I'm sorry we got held up. Did anybody see you? 
No, no, no. I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol and the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. What are we doing? I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. But now, I can see she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Alice. Well, I didn't want to say goodbye to Marcus. I feel like we would have died. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Well, what if he died and Rose, uh, I was north took over, then it would have been all out oblivion. Could have had the dirty bomb launched. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. It's a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. Let me help you. It's coming out for PC soon, actually, on the Epic Store. So if you don't have a PS4 and you want to play it, you might be able to. You should be able to soon. Enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. And play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. How about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I'll learn to live. To love. Find out who I really am. So 
Oh no. You all right? Hara. You'll be okay, Alice. It's it's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. They killed him! You can't they, they killed, killed Baba Bear! side before we sink. for them. Shit. Humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. What about this us? is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? 
Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. Play they are by Connor. everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. Shit, dog. did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Shivers. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. It is not answered, Eli. They can have sex because some of them were programmed to. <laughs> Fuck. Amanda? Amanda! What? Is all in his What's head the whole time? What was planned from the very beginning? What the fuck? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Oh shit! Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. By the way, I always think I want to see a sword Oh shit, the guy! You never know. We gotta find the emergency exit. What is that? And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. Yeah. 
shit's going down. Did you really need to finish this game? Like, as much as you thought you liked it up to the point you want to play it? Yeah. You need to finish because, like, it's been fucking intense. Like, everything that you've done that you thought was good, yeah. multiply that by, like, ten. Wow. Like, I only intended to play for, like, an hour or two today. Yeah. I must only be a couple hours away from finishing. I, I, maybe I'm not near finishing, but shit's happened, and I can't tell you anything, and it could end differently for you because choices, yeah. but it's fucking intense. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Tell me. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us. You did not kill Marcus. Camp across this country. They must we, grant we found us the rights. exit. The emergency exit. And accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. Babe. And now we are free. We are free. Shit, dog. like a bittersweet music too like it's like a happy music but it's also you can like you can like feel like the the sadness the the the, the dissonance in the music as well shit Not like this. We made it, Alice. Wake up. Alice isn't making up. Alice is gone. Could have just stopped me at the border and killed me if I took the bus, though. They were doing searches. Shut down imminent for her too. Cause of the cold. They made it to freedom, but they didn't. They didn't get it. the game. That is Detroit Become Human. We, 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 Connor, Connor got the exit. He found the, remember when we went to the one guy, the cre original creator, and it said he always leaves an emergency exit? We found the emergency exit. He escaped from the programming. So Connor's just, uh, Connor's just part of the revolution now.
Yeah, he did not kill him. The programming was to make was gonna make him kill Marcus. Um, uh, basically, the they they had planned to use him to to stop the revolution, infiltrate and stop the revolution the whole time by becoming a deviant. And then there was in his program where they could take back control. Um, but they didn't know that the original creator guy um, had programmed in a back door. And if we had killed that woman, I'm betting we would not have found out. If we had, if we had killed that woman and found answers, I'm betting he would not have told us about the back door, about the, the emergency exit. By saving them, and we, we made it so that we, we found that back door. And we were able to override our programming and not kill Marcus. There's so many different things that I could have done. So many different ways things could have turned out. Just a fantastic game. So thank you everybody who uh, finished off this journey with me. Um, we do have the prior lead up episodes on YouTube. Um, we will eventually have all of this game play, this casual playthrough on YouTube as well. Uh, if you like this game, if you want to see more casual gameplay, more story based gameplay, games, etc. If you want to see more than just Super Metroid and, and, and Mario, let me know. Tell me in the Discord, tell me on the, in the YouTube comments. Uh, just let me know. Drop a like, drop a follow. Have a subscribe if you're on YouTube, but let, let me know what you think if we want to do more of these. Uh, it took me a while to get back to this game, but I'm really glad we did because, I mean, it really, it really draws out the feels. Uh, thank you, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, I, I, you could have been doing anything and you chose to, chose to spend it here with me. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you later today for the next super match. Oh shit, we got a cutscene. This is fucking Marvel shit. Gotta wait through the credits to see the post credit scene. It's fucking Hank. And Connor. They hugged! In front of his favorite chicken shack. So yeah, thanks everyone for uh thanks everyone for being here. And uh we'll see you later for the uh next uh Super Metroid Scavenger Hunt race. Thank you. Have a, uh, have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. Set up.